In this video, I'm gonna give you a quest walkthrough on the Phantom Ox Cart. Now, this is a quest that only happens once you've unlocked Batal and you've been to Batal. You might not get this quest otherwise. So the way you get this quest is by meeting Wilhelmina. You should have already met her in the game. If you haven't, you are not far enough in the game yet to get this quest. You're also going to need the card that she gives you and you're going to have to have this in your inventory because we're going to the Bordelry. The Bordelry is located right at the southern end of Vernworth. So it's this location over here. It's not in the castle grounds. It's just right here. So you're going to go to this location. The entrance is just like to the northwest of this. And you're going to make your way inside. As soon as you get inside, you'll see there is a spiral staircase at the back of the room. So just keep heading straight. Go up the spiral staircase just like this. I'm going to speed things up a little bit over here. Now we're going across to the other side. So that balcony over there, basically the door, the main door and on this side of the room, we need to go through here. This is where you'll meet Wilhelmina. You're going to go ahead and speak to her. And this is where you should be getting the quest. I'm assuming because you're watching this video, you already have this quest to investigate the Phantom Ox card. You will get a location of where this is located. It says it's over here at sunset at this location, just to the north east of Vernworth uh, town, I guess. I recommend setting your time of day by sitting at the bench. As soon as it's nighttime, it honestly, it will be fine. Otherwise, you can just stand here like an idiot like me who didn't know that and waited until it was like really dark until it like just summoned in. So if you just come here at nighttime, this will be here. So you just got to be here at nighttime. Once you get here for the very first time, you'll see the cutscene with the, the pawns and the soldier. You'll have to discover the truth about this just by witnessing this cutscene. And then you'll be instructed to question the soldier. Now the ox cart will leave and the soldier will make a little bit of a run for it, but he won't run far. So just like follow him like shortly up the road, like three seconds later and he stops. And then you're just basically going to question him. You're going to get two options. Either accept his gold and let him go or escort him to Vermont. I don't know what happens if you accept his gold and let him go. I decided to take this mother to prison. I took him to prison. It was a, I should have taken the gold maybe. But anyway, you will take him to prison. It will make a cutscene here and you'll get the merchant's document. And this will tell you that you question the soldier. And now you need to find out the truth behind the who's behind this phantom ox cart. Right. It doesn't really tell you what to do or who to go to, but we're going to the Star Drop Inn. The Star Drop Inn at nighttime, you'll find Captain Bronze and you're going to speak to him and you're going to tell him about the Phantom Ox card. And he will give you clues about like, you know, what you should do. Give him the merchant document so that he can read over it and he's going to advise you on what your next step is going to be. It's going to be pursue the Ox card. Now we have to actually get in the ox cart. We have to disguise ourselves as a, as a pawn. So I'm going to sit on the bench this time. I'm going to skip daytime until it is nighttime. So as soon as it's nighttime outside, honestly, right here, just the nighttime, you can run out the, the gate to the northeast of Vernworth and then take off all your clothes, all your inventory, all your weapons, anything that you're wearing, unequip it. Then you're going to speak to the wagon driver and he's going to be like, what's this? A bunch of pawns? Oh, just uh, get in the back, I guess. You know, I'm going to take you with all these other pawns. And you're going to do that. You're going to, you know, get in the back there and you're just going to stand in the in the line. Now, a few things will happen along the way. At first, you'll actually get attacked by stuff. I assume, probably, I, I don't know. Um, since you don't want to equip your weapons, you have to keep up your disguise. You can just fight with fists or let the other pawns do the work. Then you'll get to the gate over here. It's very important that you let them just beat you up. Because remember, you are a pawn. You have to be disguised. You must not give away that you are not a pawn. So stand here and then let them beat you up. They won't kill you. At least they didn't kill me. They took me maybe down to like just over half HP with a couple of hits. And then eventually you'll end up at your final destination. And you'll see all the pawns will line up in front of a like massive door. Not sure what that is. That's probably in a future quest. But once you're here, they're going to discover that you are not like the others. Somehow they figured that out instantly and you need to gather evidence to report to Captain Bronze and this means you need to fight. So immediately like pause the game, equip all your armor, like right at this point, just equip all your armor and try fight them. I, I don't recommend doing this as a mage. My God, it was so difficult trying to fight like so many people. Eventually you'll defeat some enemy who will drop an item and you'll have obtained evidence that you can take back to Captain Bronze. And that's all, all you got to do. And then you go back to the star drop in. So you're going to have to progress all the way out of Batal again. Get back here. Make sure it's nighttime at the inn. Go ahead and find Bronze and tell him about the Phantom Ox card. And this will actually end the, the quest. You'll get your rewards. And you'll see that the quest is completed. And that is how you can complete the Phantom Ox card. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching.